Hey everyone, what's up? It's Jeff exclamation point here. How you guys doing? I am on this epic trip in New York City. Today is the last day of the trip. I uh, leave tomorrow. Uh, in total, I will have seen eight different shows. I know, that is absolutely ridiculous. But it's freezing. Holy cow, it's freezing right now. And this is like the first day of this trip that I've really been this cold. So uh, the mask is staying on uh, mainly for warmth right now. <laughs> but uh, there's a couple of things I want to talk about. Uh, for those of you who are looking at coming to New York, during this time, during the time of COVID, uh, there's a lot of changes, like a lot. And I kind of want to go through some of them with you. Uh, just in case you're someone like me who is from Florida, who's not used to having to show a vaccination card all the time. Uh, I just kind of want to let you know what to expect. But before I get there, uh, another question I get a lot from friends is where in the world do you get your theater tickets? And I am going to show you. Now, right now, this is New York. I'm going to flip the camera around. We're in the middle of Times Square. And of course, we have uh, a whole bunch of protests happening right over there. But there we go. There is Times Square. Oh, I love this place so much. But you guys see right over here where they have all those red stairs. Right underneath it, and we're going to walk that way right now. There is a place called TKTS. This is where all the discounted tickets are. The official, and I'm going to put that word out there really loud, official tickets uh, that are highly discounted. And I highly recommend you download the TKTS app. It is awesome. And it will tell you everything that is discounted. And they do have all the shows listed right there. The so where you buy the tickets, we're just kind of going around the corner over here at the very bottom of those red stairs. Right here, these are the ticket booths and I'll take you around to where you will line up to actually get a ticket. The line's not bad right now. This morning when they opened at 11, this line was crazy. It like wrapped all over the place. But on this side over here of uh, Times Square is where you would uh, get your tickets. So as I sit in here in the warmth, uh, TKTS, whenever you go over there, what they're gonna want is for you to have three shows ready to go. What's your top three? They're also gonna make sure uh, as you, they, people are gonna walk up and down the line and they're gonna ask you, what show are you looking for? Cause they wanna make sure that you, that show is on the list that is available. So as they're walking up and down, if you're like, oh, I'm gonna buy a ticket to Hamilton, uh, they're gonna tell you Hamilton's not available. And then they're gonna show you the board and say, these are the shows available. Uh, I am a huge fan of their app a huge fan uh right before i leave at uh like they opened at 11 this morning around 10 30 they release all of the shows that are available now when you get there uh they always say you don't have to get there immediately because shows are going to be available but then they might not but then another theater might call and say hey i got these tickets available and then all of a sudden, a show that was not available at the opening midway through becomes available. And I've seen that a couple of times. So I tell them, hey, here's the show I want to see. And, uh, and then I say, if there's no good seats available, please let me know because I have the next show ready to go for you. And they are always very appreciative of that. And uh, a couple of trips ago, I was going to go see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. And the gentleman looked at it and he goes, where this seat is, you will miss half of the magic tricks. So I thanked him for that and I ended up seeing a different show that night. So they really do take care of you over there. All right, let's get back out to the cold. One of the tricks I learned is that if you buy, stand in that line one day, buy a ticket to see a show and come back the next day and want to see another show, you get to skip the entire line. It's awesome. And what you do is you take your ticket stub, uh, proving that you saw a show the night before, and right behind me, right there. Yeah. That is where you go. You show it to one of the uh, employees that work over there, and they will put you right to the front of the line. 
So this morning, it was a crazy wrap line. I showed up just as the box office opened, and I was like the third person to get a ticket. The day before that, I was sitting in a Starbucks in the warmth, waiting for it to open. And when it opened, I cut the entire line. It is awesome and uh, highly recommend it if you're here to see multiple shows. I'm making my way over to Schubert Alley, but uh, you're gonna see me eat a lot of cheesecake. That's where I get my cheesecake. This is Junior's. Uh, they also have a restaurant coming in here. Um, one of the best hamburgers I've ever had in my life. I ate in that restaurant and I might do that again tonight. Don't know yet, but it was really, really good. So, we're going now to Schubert Alley. Oh, I can't feel my hands right now. And gang, this is the first time the entire trip I have not been able to feel my hands. Okay, I'm back. I literally just had to run into a store and warm up and, you know, shopped. That's what I'm good at. And I'm passing the uh, company theater right now. And I'm about to pass the come from away theater. But let me explain some of the things that have changed here. Number one, um, you gotta have a COVID card. Anywhere you go, you wanna go to uh, Starbucks and sit inside and sip on your coffee, you have to show your COVID card to do that. Pretty much any place here is going to, if you're going to eat inside, uh, they are gonna ask you for that COVID card. If you do not have it, uh, unfortunately you can't sit inside, but they will seat you outside. One of the biggest changes right there. Uh, the next thing is once you present your COVID card, uh, they're also going to want to see an ID and they're going to make sure everything matches and I believe they're also looking for a booster shot on there as well and that is to be able to enter the theater or to sit and eat in a restaurant. Holy cow, I'm in a wind tunnel. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'm going to finish this one up pretty quick here. I'm setting everything down because I want to show you what I ended up buying off Amazon this and when you open it up and I took them all out but I have my COVID card right here and I have my photo ID right there and it's a quick boom and it has made a lot of people very very happy that I have that you're also gonna go through metal detectors which is something some theaters did last time but most did not this time they are all doing it Go. Yay, the glasses are fogged. <laughs> right behind me, I'm walking just as dear Evan Hansen let out. And let me tell you, everyone leaving that show right now is highly depressed. Because I was when I saw it. And that vlog is coming up. I'm going to head to the hotel, get where it's warm, and I will continue this. I'm back in the hotel where it's warm. Oh, it's cold outside. Yeah, um, my coffee's still a little on the uh, the hot side. Barely. It is just... Yeah, I'm not used to the cold. I don't like the cold. But I'm here and I don't care because this is a wonderful, absolutely fabulous time to come visit New York. Uh, I am here at the beginning of February. I arrived here February 1st. I pretty much got a ticket to any show I wanted to see. Crowds have been very light. Lines have been very low. Any restaurant I've wanted to go to, I've literally just walked right in where normally there's a line wrapped around the building. Like, this is a great time to go. Plus, um, uh, everything with COVID is kind of scaring a lot of people away. Uh, and understandably, I'm like, you, you know, I get it. I was honestly thinking about canceling this trip. Uh, but I talked to some of my friends who live in New York, and they were like, don't. They're like, you can see whatever you want to see. Uh, this is a great time to come. And I came, and it's great. I feel safe here. Going back to the theaters, uh, we've showed our COVID cards. We've matched it with our IDs. Uh, we went through the metal detectors. The next thing is you got to have that mask on the entire time, and they are very, very strict about it. It has to be above the nose, below the chin. Uh, if you are sitting in usually the first three rows, 
they warn you that they are going to be extra strict on it because you're that close to the performers and the performers are not wearing masks during the performance. And that is to keep them safe and keep you safe from them. Also, one thing that is missing from the theaters now, there's no longer uh, food and drink cells in the theater. Now, from my understanding, this is also, it depends on the theater that you go to or who the owners of the theater are. Uh, as of right now, I have seen seven shows and out of the seven, only one show had drinks and food. I kind of wanted to make this video of anyone who is looking at coming to New York just so you have that idea of what it's going to be like. And in all honesty, it's not that bad. Show your vaccination card, have your ID ready, and wear a mask. We are going to do a very epic vacation trip coming up. This is the first video I am posting. Uh, the next one uh, is a trip that I did to the Daytona International Speedway for the Rolex 24, and then we're getting into the New York trip. So in the upcoming weeks, get ready for a lot, a lot, a lot of theater vlogs. Today's like, I, I leave tomorrow and I'm already sad. I'm ready to come back to Orlando, but I'm, I'm already sad. So I hope all of you enjoy this series about to come up. Uh, if you are wanting to see some of my other New York vlogs, all the theaters and stuff I've been to, uh, I'll put links in the description below and I'll put little tags up there if you're on your computer. I don't know what side it ever goes on, but there you go. So like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and you guys are in for a treat. I hope you enjoy all these vlogs. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.